Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. On my birthday in 2021, my age is equal to the sum of the digits of my birth year. I am less than 100 years old. What could my birth year be? I thank Tuan for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is a tricky word problem, so let's work it out step by step. On your birthday in 2021, mathematically, your age is equal to 2021 minus your birth year. Now, since you are less than 100 years old, you are either born in the 1900s or the 2000s. Let's say you were born in the 1900s, then your age is equal to 2021 minus 19 AB. But this is also equal to the sum of the digits of your birth year, and that will be equal to 1 plus 9 plus A plus B. If instead you were born in the 2000s, your age would be equal to 2021 minus 20 AB, and the sum of the digits of your birth year will be equal to 2 plus A plus B. So let's work out each case in turn. Let's start if you were born in the 1900s. So 19 AB is equal to 1900 plus 10A plus B. So we'll simplify the left-hand side. 2021 minus that is equal to 121 minus 10A minus B. On the right-hand side, 1 plus 9 plus A plus B is equal to 10 plus A plus B. We can now bring the constant terms to the left-hand side and bring the variables to the right-hand side. So we have 111 is equal to 11a plus 2b. Where do we go from here? 111 is an odd number. And since b is an integer, 2b is always an even integer. So we have an odd is equal to something plus an even. That means 11a has to be an odd number. Now a is a digit between 0 and 9. And 11a has to be odd, so a has to be equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So 11a is equal to 11, 33, 55, 77, or 99. Now let's narrow down these cases. Let's consider the case that 11a is equal to 77. We would then have 111 minus 77, and that equals 34. But this needs to be equal to 2b which means b is equal to 17. But you can't have a digit that's equal to 17. b has to at most be equal to 9. So we know that this case cannot happen. We also know that 11a can't be equal to 55, 33, or 11 because then b would be an even larger value. So we can eliminate all of these cases. The only possibility that might work is 11a is equal to 99. In that case, 111 minus 99 is equal to 12. That's equal to 2b, which means b is equal to 6. For 11a to be equal to 99, a is equal to 9. So this gives us a solution of 1996. So now let's work the other case that you were born in the 2000s. It will be a very similar calculation. 20ab is equal to 2000 plus 10a plus b. We simplify the right-hand side. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. So we have 21 minus 10a minus b is equal to 2 plus a plus b. Again, we bring the constant terms to the left-hand side and the variables to the right-hand side. So we have 19 is equal to 11a plus 2b. 19 is odd. 2b is even, which means 11a has to be odd. So for 11a to be odd, we basically have one possibility because 11 times 3 is equal to 33. That's too large. So we're going to need 11a to be equal to 11. So a is equal to 1. Then 19 minus 11 is equal to 8. That's equal to 2b, giving that b is equal to 4. And this gives a solution of 2014. So let's just check these possibilities. If you were born in 1996, your age would be equal to 2021 minus 1996, which equals 25. And that is exactly the sum of the digits 
one, nine, nine, and six. If you were born in 2014, your age is equal to seven, and that's exactly the sum of the digits two, zero, one, and four. So you were either born in 1996 or 2014. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.